Hi Dollar Divas, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, I'm just gonna kinda do another chatty get ready with me. I um, I realized I forgot to say some stuff I wanted to talk about in my last one. I do try to keep my videos on the shorter side. I don't ever want them to be too incredibly long. And you guys seem to kinda like my chatty get ready with me's and I know I've been MIA so much. So without any further chit chat, let's just go ahead and get into today's video. So my hair is back and this is what I, one of the things I do not like about being brunette again is that it kind of draws attention to like where I'm thin in my hair. Um, <laughs> that's the only, like that's something I don't think about as much when I'm blonde because like the difference between my hair color and my scalp is less noticeable but I digress. We're real here so this is just this is what we got. <laughs> um, I also just freshly did my roots um, the other day. So actually a week ago today. I don't know where this week has gone, but so I'm just gonna be using a little eyebrow kit from the Dollar Tree that you've seen. I think I used it in my last chatty get ready with me. You probably didn't see it because I probably didn't show it, but I'll be using the darker shade of course. And so yeah, like I said, there was some things that like in my last get ready with me, because I try not to make my videos too long. I don't want them to be like unbearable. And honestly, I never get more than like a 50% retention time anyway. So, you know, cause you know, I, I get my, my attention span is short. So I, I forgot some things that I kind of wanted to talk about. And I don't know, I just, you know, I've done a lot of, if you've been following me for a while on here, um, I've, I've had some very creative content. I've always tried to think of like different ideas. Like, like for instance, like if people are duping, duping palettes, like let's say a high-end palette and they're trying to find like drugstore dupes. And I don't know that I invented this idea, but I haven't really been able to find any other videos on here. That might be an algorithm issue, but I kind of felt like it was always like my thing to like dupe like a high-end or a luxury palette with Dollar Tree eyeshadow. Um, and you know, and I've had some of those videos do decent, but I guess I just maybe had higher hopes that people would like them more. And I would get a lot of comments that people wanted me to like dupe them with like drugstore eyeshadow. And, and I was like, oh yeah, I mean, I can and I have, but like you can actually find like eyeshadows at the Dollar Tree and really come close to duping like a good amount of like palettes that come out. Um, so I don't know. So I guess I say, say all that to say that some of my more creative content hasn't, hasn't really performed as good as like just a simple Dollar Tree haul or even a walkthrough sometimes. So I've tried to reinvent the wheel and perhaps the wheel does not need to be reinvented. The wheel does not always have to be reinvented, you know? I'm gonna go in with some primer. This is just the LA Colors Eye Primer. This is the one for the matte finish. I don't know if there's a difference between this one and the one for a shimmery finish, but I really do like this one because it has a little bit of a tint in it. So I like that it kind of neutralizes the kind of the redness on my eyelids. So yeah, I just figured, you know, my chatty get ready with me's seem to actually do pretty decent. I know that was always a complaint of like other YouTubers that their like get ready with me's didn't do as well as other videos. Of course, usually like a haul, like a Dollar Tree haul is gonna like always like outperform just about anything. But as far as like other videos that I put up, my get ready with me seem to do pretty well. And so it means y'all seem to really like them. So, and I know I've been so kind of MIA lately that I feel you might need to kind of see me and I, we might need to talk a little bit more. So, um, so I, I, I've really grown to like chatty get ready with me's. I'm gonna clean up around my brows with the AOA Studio Liquid Concealer. I have had this for a while. So I kind of made a little list of some things that I did want to like chat about while I was getting ready. Um, the first, well, this is kind of the newest thing is I watched a movie last night. It's it's several years old now, but it's a movie called Joy. Um, right now it's on like Amazon Prime or something like that. Jennifer Lawrence is in it. And there's actually a lot of really big stars in it, like Robert De Niro and and, and many others that I didn't recognize what my husband recognized. And um, it basically, if you, if you haven't seen, if you haven't seen the movie, I, I really don't want to give a lot away because I hate, I hate that. I hate when people do that. Um, but it basically, Jennifer Lawrence plays this woman named Joy who basically invents, you know, of course her life is pretty terrible and she, but she invents this like, you know, those brooms, you've seen them. I don't own one, but they're like, they're like the self ringing and they're like the, the rope that's kind of like looped around. Well, she invented that and kind of just shows the process of that and the struggle and all that kind of thing. But there's a scene in the movie, of course I related to a lot of it. Her parents are kind of actually very similar to my parents. 
And, uh, but there's a scene in the movie where she kind of gets this, without giving too much away, she kind of gets this big break. And the movie ain't over there. You know, there's a, still a lot of movie left at that point. But she has this opportunity to go on to QVC and kind of pitch her product. So they, they get, like, the, the whole team of, like, the wardrobe and beauty consultants. And they kind of, you know, they do her hair. They do her makeup. And they put her in, like, this outfit. So she comes out and she, like, you know, she looked beautiful. She looked spectacular. So in this Shadow Kiss palette by Alter Ego, this is, like, the dupe for, like, the Natasha Denona glam. I'm just going to go into this shade right here. I just want to lay some, a little bit of, like, smoky color down. Um, I'm kind of doing an iridescent makeup look today. I was kind of wanting, I'm kind of wearing a shirt that's a little colorful. I'm wearing some iridescent earrings. I don't know if they're reading on camera, but... I just kind of wanted something kind of fun today. So she she was like, you know, this is great and everything. Like I said, she was wearing this really sexy kind of like black skirt with like a little jacket. And she looked, just looked really great and everything. So she was like, this is great. This is perfect. Just give me one minute. I want to fix something. And she opens the door and she redid her hair to the way it was when she came in and put on the outfit she was wearing when she came in. And her thing was that that this is me. This is, this is who I am. And if I'm going to sell my product on TV, I want to be me. Like, I want to be me. And it's so funny because that I that's how I started this channel. You know, of course, there's I wear my hair up, like, all the time, except from at work, like, if I'm at work. So I have, I think I maybe on two occasions have worn my hair down in the whole four years I've had my channel. You know, this is me. You know what I mean? Like, this is me. This is who you see. So I related to that because I, I, I always would feel a little guilty, like, oh, maybe I should look have my hair done up more, you know, wear my, maybe wear my three quarter hair piece or, you know, just go a little extra effort to like look better for everybody or, you know, be my best self. But you know, the, the fact of the matter is, is that wouldn't be me. And I was always afraid that if I tried to do that, I really wouldn't, I wouldn't stick with you too very long. It would be too much. So I really related to that scene in the movie, but it's a really good movie. If you, have, if you haven't seen it, it's, um, it's, it's inspiring, you know, I'm kind of going through what I feel to be a transition at the moment in that, you know, I'm kind of wanting to venture and do some different things, kind of bigger things than I've been doing. Okay, so now I'm going to go into like a multi-chrome eyeshadow that I purchased a couple years ago. This is from Face Glaze Beauty. It's an eyeshadow. It's in the shade Goddess, so it comes in like a little bag like this. I don't have a magnetic palette. And honestly, this is the only eyeshadow I have that I purchased like this. But this is so pretty. I have bought like a couple different like iridescent multi-chrome shadows, like flakes and different things. And I just don't use them that much and they're so pretty. So I thought today would be a great day to go into them. I'm just going to use my little flat zebra brush from the Dollar Tree. And this is going to be the star of the show on my eyelid today. So yeah, great movie if you want something. Oh yeah, so what was I saying? So so yeah, so I feel like I'm going through a little bit of a transition. So now I think the last time we talked in my last Get Ready With Me, um, I did send a Thursday night. As I sit here, it is Monday. And um, so Thursday night, I came from work and I sent my video I emailed it and filled out the questionnaire and all that to a management company now there's a lot of management companies that like do book cruise ships and resorts and stuff like that this is just one that I'm acquainted with because I have a friend of mine that is represented by them but there's bunches of them this is like I said not the only one and of course it's the holiday weekend and you know I don't guess a lot of people don't work on weekends so I haven't heard anything yet and it could take a month it could take I could hear tomorrow Next time we talk, I could hear, it might be never. I might never hear from them if they're not interested. That is so gorgeous. I'm gonna add some lashes and then I might, oh, I know what I wanted to put on under my brows. I've had this for a while. It's the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter. I haven't used it in a while. Um, I think I bought this at the drugstore, but these had surfaced not sometime after at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna see what it does, I'm like highlighting under my brows. I haven't used a product like this in a while. Oh yeah. That's nice. So yeah, I'm just gonna see what happens there. I never did hear from my friend who kind of made me aware of this company. Um, she's busy, she's got a lot going on. So I just I just went ahead and did it. And so yeah, I don't know if I'll have some news next time I talk to you all. Of course, you know, all of, it's just management. It's not like, it, it's not a job necessarily. It's just someone that wants to take me and my show on. And if they think it's something that they can book, they will, call me and let me know. Um, if not, I will go from there. You know what I'm saying? But it's just management. It's not like a job per se. So nothing will change like in the 
the immediate future, you know. So I'm gonna add some mascara. This, I used this in my last Get Ready With Me. It's the Le Mercier brand from Dollar Tree. It's in Midnight Black. It's a volumizing mascara. And this seems to be the best mascara as of yet that I've found at the Dollar Tree. Only reason I tried it was because it wasn't LA Colors or Wet n Wild. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on and I'm gonna put on some liner glue and lashes and we'll go from there. So in that movie, I love, okay, this might sound crazy. You know, I've had so many situations in my life where generally right before something really great happens, I kind of get it at a low point. And then something wonderful happens. A phone call comes in and I get an amazing opportunity. Usually it is kind of career oriented for me personally. But I've learned over the years that are these moments and I like to call them the just before. And it's so easy when something good happens to be excited and happy. But if you can learn the fact that you can sit here right now and in any moment it's easy to think about your, your life changing for the worst, you know, to kind of live in fear that oh, what if something bad happens. But we don't really always do it like the opposite way, like something good is about to happen. You know what I mean? That's just a harder concept, I think, for us to grasp. But I've lived enough to know that that is a thing. So I feel like I'm in the just before, or at least if I'm not, it's a good thing to believe that anyway. Um, I'm just going to use my Ioni Lash Glue Liner, and I'm going to use the same lashes that I used in my last Get Ready With Me. They're Ionis. They're the Wispy Fluffy Curly Light Criss Cross. <laughs> so we're going to be using those today. So yeah, I, I like to think I'm in the just before. I like to live, if I'm, especially if I'm actively doing some stuff, I like to focus on what I call the just before. Yeah, like I said, it might be stupid, but yeah, I, I do like to try to believe that. And it's not always easy. So another thing that I left out the other day that I forgot, I just completely forgot, was the fact that this year I got hit. I'm kind. I'm coming out of it now. It will still get me some days. It's just not as bad as it was, you know, um, kind of started in like March. And so what's it now? May, almost June. Um, it's it's tapering off, but it's it still will get me some days. And I had forgotten this because it's been a few years. Um, but I sometimes get hit with SAD, Seasonal Affective Disorder, or Depression. Seasonal Affective Depression. Basically, it's de like a case of depression kind of when the seasons change. And it's mo more, you know, most typical for it to hit people when the weather, you know, gets, starts to get colder and darker and all that kind of stuff. But there is a small percentage of people, and you can look it up, it is actually a thing that it happens the opposite. It happens when the weather starts to get warmer and the days get longer and, um, that is typically when it happens for me. But I can think of at least four years where it's happened to me. And um, this year was one of them. At first, I did not know what was happening. I was just mentally not myself. And I was like, what is going on? I just, I'm not used to really being like depressed, like clinically, feeling like clinically depressed. Because I don't think it's hit me since like 2016 or 2017. It's been a little while, thank goodness. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave my eyes alone for now. I think I'm, I might come back with some like liner, but of course I'm gonna move on to the rest of the face first and just kind of let this be for a minute. So these here are on their last leg. I'm gonna use these for my foundation today and then they're gonna go into the empties. Um, but they're these Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundations. I got a couple different colors here. I think I already used one up a while back and they're in the position in which I'm gonna be just taking out the sponge and putting it on because Trying to use a beauty blender is just not gonna be enough. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of go right in with these and just try to use up the last tiny little bit. So yeah, so I'm still having some days or it hits me kind of mild some days, but overall I'm, I'm better than I was. I think I, it really hit a peak in like, I don't know, end of March, April or so. So I'm coming out of that, but that was really, really tricky. That was also right around the time that the whole Vegas thing was kind of happening. I was having a really hard time. I was trying to learn a couple new Selena songs, plus like second verses of the ones that I know half or so of because I do some medleys in my show. And I was having a really hard time grasping the lyrics because it just, you know, when you're in that mindset, it just makes everything a little harder. You just, you're not, your mind's not working quite the same as it normally would. So that made that a little extra hard. And of course, you know, the lyrics are in Spanish, you know what I mean? And you know, some lyrics are really fast and I don't speak Spanish. I kind of learn, I learn by reading the lyrics and listening to the lyrics and then just practicing them and then just practicing them over and over again until they 
kind of come out naturally, kind of without having to think, you know. And I do, you know, and then I also do kind of learn what, what it means. So I do know overall what I'm saying and what I'm singing about because that's very, very, very important. I'm going to use my Believe Beauty. This is like a corrector. This is light medium. I'm going to use this for under my eyes. So I did get my pool up and going. I I think when my last get ready with me, I told you I was going to have to call someone, have them come out. And um, and because I, I was having a hard time with the pool this year, so I made an appointment for the first week of June, which I was ugh, I knew it was going to take a long time for someone to come out. Um, however, when I got in touch with the pool place, and turns out they're right up the street from me, and they've been in business for a really long time. They are like the people to go to. They said in the meantime, just take us in a bottle of water, and we'll test it and see if we can't help you get it where it needs to be. Because it was close. It was just it was blue. It was just really really cloudy, and. Um, and it turns out that just this year, I don't know if it's just the area where I live in or kind of everywhere, there's a lot of phosphates. And so that's what makes the water cloudy, pretty much. Long, you know, it's more complicated than that. But And so, um, yeah, after about a week of kind of going back and forth with them, bringing the water in, having them test it, doing what I need to do, we had to drain half the pool. But it wasn't as bad as it seemed like it was going to be. It's beautifully clear, and I used it on, I used it for the first time on Wednesday and I got to use it again on Thursday and it's kind of been rainy and a little bit cool but it is as clear as can be and I'm just so relieved and I really wish I found these people sooner and knew that I could do this sooner because yeah it just takes a load of worry off because really kind of for me it was always kind of like a guessing game you know it's just kind of like I knew through experience kind of like what to do but I really didn't know what I was doing if that makes sense if you have a pool you probably understand if you kind of tend to it yourself but yeah, so that's just been a learning experience like no other. So I'm gonna lay down some powder and I'm gonna, I haven't used this in a while. This is the Revlon Photo Ready. I don't know if it's translucent or light. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna use this and then I'm gonna use a brush. So I was talking the other day too about how my voice has gotten so much better. I found like a really good allergy regimen that doesn't hurt me, but it helps me because I was always afraid of allergy medicine hurting me like hurting my voice, because that's what I had a laryngologist told, tell me when I was young. So I'd always avoided it, and it's done nothing but help me this year. I also do, do think whatever damage I had is healing. Um, but, um, and I'm not a doctor, so this is not something necessarily to follow, but this is just what I'm doing, you know. I'd read on the internet, I just kind of wanted to read about like, if there was any supplements you can take, because I had a friend, a friend recommended lysine, taking lysine on an empty stomach because it kind of helps your tissues and stuff like that. And that's been a really nice thing. So I was like, you know, what else might I, might I can I take to help my vocal health? So I kind of read and I found like a whole list of just different vitamins like A and magnesium and fish oils and all this stuff. And I've just been taking like a cocktail of vitamins like every day. I don't know if that's helping my voice, but it definitely ain't hurting me. So I've been doing that as well. Of course, I take Mucinex as well every day because that's something that a singer can take as long as it doesn't have like a decongestant in it it's just going to be that that ingredient that begins with a g that you just want to be like pure like whatever that is <laughs> i'm going to be grow i think i mentioned in my video i'm going to be growing up my bangs at least to where they're like long like chin length so i'm going to be using this Too faced natural lust bronzer i feel like it's kind of glowy and really pretty and i haven't used it in a little while so i'm gonna go in with this today this just gives such a pretty glow and i got this a couple years ago at tj maxx i believe so man we lost tina turner just uh, you know i did a when i was doing my makeup and celebrity sunday videos i one of the few that i made was on tina turner queen of rock and roll you forget i forget that like i put her right you know she's to me she's like dolly and Cher, and you know of course like those legends there and um I just didn't realize, you know, she's like a good like 10 years older than either one of them. And it just it doesn't seem like it in my mind. You know what I mean? And then, of course, Celine Dion, who's, one, you know, I'm a, I grew up being a singer and like loving the big singers. So like Whitney and Mariah and Celine, you know, the vocal trinity. And of course, Whitney's gone. We still have Mariah. But, you know, Celine has that whole stiff person syndrome, they call it. You know, and I'm sure it affects everything in her body so it's really sad to hear that you know we're just these legends you know these people you know that make I, I know I did get to see Celine Dion live I never saw Whitney or Mariah was lucky enough to see Celine and I would have loved to have seen the other two too um I put Gloria Estefan in that category as well like to me I think Gloria Estefan has one of the 
most pleasing, purest voices I've ever heard, like that I've ever heard, you know? And um, a lot of people would say that my voice has a similar tone and quality at times, especially when I was younger. I'm gonna kind of go into a couple different blushes. Um, they're both from the Dollar Tree. I found both of these at the Dollar Tree some time ago. This one here is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Baked Blush. This is in Dare to Soar. It's beautiful. It has like a little hummingbird on it. And it's like a, um, it's like a fuchsia and it's got kind of like a, it's got a shimmery undertone. It's kind of got like a little hint of blue in it. And then this is Shy by Elf. And again, just a beautiful color. So I'm going to do a little pop of this and then a little bit of that on top. I thought this was interesting and this is something I heard recently just by being on social media. So I don't know if y'all know, I know a girl that made it to the top five of American Idol, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago. We don't know each other really well, but we worked in town together and um, met a couple times, of course. Her name's Janelle Arthur and she does some stuff like in the country music world. She's done some songs like a song with Dolly and stuff. So she's definitely got a heck of a lot more notoriety than I do. <laughs> so I'm very, very proud of her. She deserves so much more, but so I'm gonna go into that brighter color first. But yeah, I think it was about 10 years ago. I'll find out the exact season it was. But yeah, she made it top five. So of course I follow her on social media. She posted this interesting like TikTok, this interesting little video. See, that's so pretty. Very light hand. And then I'm gonna use another brush and go over top of that with this right here. And so um, she posted a video how she was in the makeup chair while she was doing American Idol. And I I guess Mariah Carey was a, a judge then. I kind of feel like it was J-Lo, but I guess, I guess it had to have been Mariah Carey. And so she was in a makeup chair and Mariah Carey was like next to her. So she had just gotten done performing a song by the band Perry, I believe. So for highlighter, I'm gonna use this here. I haven't used this very much. This is the Hard Candy Just Glow Highlighting Palette. This is Glowing by Night. And I actually have two of these. I have another shade, like another color story. I'm gonna go into this creamy shade right here. Use a bit of a stippling brush. Found this at the Dollar Tree as well. So she was talking about she was next to next to Mariah Carey in the, in the makeup chair, and I've always deemed Mariah Carey as being like like even though I, she was like my favorite singer when I was growing up, I always kind of think of her as being like highly like unapproachable. And and I know I'm you know I don't know it's just always been my impression. But anywho, so Mariah Carey you know told her you know you did a wonderful job performing you know beautiful job I really love you know loved your performance. And she was, of course, like, you know, thank you so much. And apparently Mariah Carey had performed as well. So Mariah said to Janelle, oh, you must have thought my performance was terrible. You know, I couldn't hear myself and, you know, my sound was bad or, you know, just, you. and I've heard Mariah Carey say that before, that she can't even listen to recordings of herself. She just thinks it sounds, and this is in her own words, rancid. I've heard her use that term. Cannot listen to herself sing, just does not think it sounds good. And Janelle was just like, she, she said in this video that I was just absolutely dumbfounded. She said, I, here's Mariah Carey thinking, telling me good job and, and thought that I probably didn't think she did a good job. And she was just kind of like, she realized that first of all, Mariah Carey was human, you know, cause she just assumed Mariah Carey knew how amazing she was. I mean, she's Mariah Carey. And just, it was just an interesting perspective. You know what I mean? Um, you know, sometimes we don't always feel like we get the credit we deserve, but sometimes it's perception. People don't always tell us because they assume we know. You know what I mean? And you know, and, and there's so many like layers that can go with that. You know what I mean? I know I'm guilty of that for sure. I might be more encouraging to someone I don't feel gets maybe the recognition they deserve and not so much give it to the people that seem to get it all the time. You know what I'm saying? So likewise with me, sometimes I don't always feel like I get recognition like other people, but it could be perhaps people feel like I don't need it for some reason. I, you know, I don't know. I guess us humans are weird. You know what I'm saying? But I just thought that was a very interesting story. And I heard it at a really interesting time. I'm in an interesting time right now. You know what I mean? I, you know, I, you don't, but... I am, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I only had some lip pencils the last time I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up a couple of them. This one here is the Ioni Lip Pencil in Napa Wine. So I'm gonna use this and an old, not old, but a Milani lip gloss I got a while back called Ludicrous Lights. This is in Lola Belusa. it's kind of shimmery and iridescent and that is what I'm going for today. So I do hope, you know, to change is scary, but you know, you have to make moves because, you know, especially in, in performing, you can have a thousand irons in the fire and not any one of them go anywhere, you know? I could sit here and feel bad or I can just 
see what happens if I put myself out there. And I've been doing that a lot more in the last, I don't know, eight or so months, just doing different things. You know, cause I was just always content with just writing up my career being a magician's assistant. And that changed a year ago, just kind of unexpected Unexpectedly on my part, you know what I mean? I, I, you know, I was comfortable until I wasn't. And so that's really pretty. I knew that would be like the right combination. I'm thinking of putting some liner. I think I might put some of this like white liner in the bottom of my eye, like my waterline. These ones here, this is, this is like a dupe for like the NYX Jumbo eye pencil. This is the LA Colors version of it. And this is just like a, a matte white. Then I'm just gonna use some, um, this is Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil. I'm just gonna go in my upper waterline. I'm gonna try to even up my lashes just a tad. But yeah, so I'm just trying to put myself out there a little bit and open myself up to, you know, new opportunities. If, if, if it's what's meant to be, it will happen. You know, I'm interested in meeting new people that have, that are kind of like like-minded to me and you know, that kind of thing. Um, I'm just open, I'm receptive to seeing what else is out there in the world. I'm gonna, now last but not least, I'm gonna put some of the Stilla um, Glittering Glow. I've had this for a long time, it's in Lilac Ice. And I think I'm gonna put that in the corner of my eye and kind of finish off this iridescent. That is, of course, if this is not completely dried out. Getting close, getting close. You know, like I said, for so long, I just didn't really have, I'd kind of lost any like, ambition that I had to do anything other than what I was doing. And I mean, I'm still comfortable and I love what I do. Um, but I just, you know, you live one time and you know, and there's, there's, you know, you only have so much time to try to do some things, you know what I mean? And there are no guarantees that anything ever will happen. Um, but you at least got to try, you know, you at least got to follow the path that's been laid out for you. You know, if you have a path that you think you might be able to follow, you know, it's in your best interest to see it through. Because the worst thing that happens is nothing. You just, like, you know, I have nothing to lose by, at least I shouldn't have anything to lose by just seeing what's out there. Because at the end of the day, I, I just can, I can stay what I'm doing what I'm doing and, and know that I tried. But, you know, you, you have one, one life and... I'm all about, I would love for people in my life to benefit as well. It's not always practical, but I, I would That's I would love that. Of course, I'm really still trying to get better now doing YouTube, being back into YouTube again. So let me see, let me take my hair down and let's investigate. God, my hair is such a mess. It's just, like I said, I can't, look at that. See, I just hate that so bad. Oh my God, that's okay. I'm me, this is me. <laughs> this is me, I'm me, this is what it is. So beautiful, beautiful iridescent. I was just kind of needing something very sparkly and fun and uh, yeah, just something like this today. So I hope you enjoyed another chatty get ready with me. Like I said, I had so many thoughts, couldn't fit them all into one video. And um, if you did enjoy this video, show me you did by hitting the like button. It does help me out so much. And thank you so much for coming back and continuing to watch. I appreciate it more than you will ever know. And I'm always, always amazed that you guys come to see me here on my channel. So thank you so much and I will see you next time.